Hello and welcome to the Real Tarot 1123. This is going to be a general uh, tarot reading forecast for the month of April for Libra. Let me check. Yeah, I'm reading for Libra. Okay. So, Librans, I hope uh, March is a good, uh, fruitful month for y'all. Let's take a look. Just so you know, folks, I do shuffle the cards before and after each uh, sun sign reading. But sometimes I have a need to shuffle again and that's what I do. Now, these are general, general readings. Your overall energy is a tower and that's not bad, just so you know. Um, I do daily readings, uh, Mondays through Fridays, but I post them on my Facebook page. Feel free to go over and check. It is the same name, The Real Tarot 1123. And for the weekends too, I uh, post readings on over there. If you all have a need for a personal consultation, feel free to get in touch with me. I do astrology, numerology, and tarot readings, okay? All right, so your overall energy is the tower. Okay. And this other card I pulled for you is Venus. So uh, Venus rules Libra and I'm doing a reading for Libra and uh, it is an air sign and the day for Venus is Friday. Uh, Venus is all about love and emotions and and uh, beauty and financial security and finances and all that good stuff. So this is awesome. Um, the tower card, don't, let's not get, get too stressed about the tower card because it is a good card, right? It's all about towers, of course, this card is a Mars energy, okay? And um, it's, it's a disillusion of a partnership or a structure um, or home. Um, but things will break down only if it went on on a secure foundation in the first place. To begin with, if it wasn't a secure foundation, no matter what you build on it, at some point in time, it is going to have to come tumbling down. So, and that gives you an opportunity to start something new or lay the foundation for something new, right? So let's not stress about that. I'm not taking that card because I haven't even started. I was still talking. So let me get some cards for my beautiful Librans and see what this is all about for the month of April 2021. The first card is the Six of Wands, the Lovers, how cool is that? Ten of Coins, Five of Coins, and Two of Coins. So Six of Wands. It's uh, taking action, right? Community relationships, help and support from your community, uh, helping you to take action, right? So you are, it's one, so you are gonna have to take action about something, and there are people who are going to support you as far as that is concerned. And then you have the lover's card. Well, hey, what do you know? You have Venus, and then you have the uh, lover's card as well. Now the lover's card is ruled by, it's a Gemini, Gemini card. It's love, friendship, partnerships. Um, it's also duality. And uh, uh, it's your spiritual love and your earthly love as well. So it's duality. So we have that and then we have the 10 of coins, right? It's. Uh, the final uh, accomplished card. I have accomplished all the all that I need to in terms of uh, financial security and stability, and now I have the wherewithal and the means to facilitate a happy, comfortable life with this other individual. How beautiful is that? And then you have the five of coins, and then you go back to feeling a little bit of um, chaos, and there's a little bit of conflict, um, and you all kind of feel like you've been left out in the cold again. Um, so. Why? Let's take a look. And then you have the two of coins. <laughs> and the twos are about choices as, as well. So let's break this down further. Let's get some. Let's see what the six of wands is all about. We have the seven of cups for the six of wands. The four. Ten of wands. You have two tens. Ten of coins and ten of Pentacles of Ten of Coins and Ten of Wands. That's so cool. 
You have the Empress. You have some strong cards over here, you guys. Libra. And then you have the Tower. Okay. So, your overall energy was the Tower. And the last card I pulled is also the Tower. Now, so, you got the Seven of Cups with the Six of Wands. So, Seven again this is emotional right so the cups is emotional so are you kind of reassessing your situation your whatever course of action you took here and you had so, so your people around you support you in your support group are you kind of thinking about it why are you thinking about it so or maybe you you had this little bit of a feeling left out in the cold type of situation and then you had choices to make right and uh, there were a lot of emotions. You're thinking about those choices, right? It's like, where is it going to lead you? Um, or it's also, there are way too many choices and you don't know which one to choose. That's an option too. And then you have the full card under the lover's card. So maybe here's the lover's card and you had the full card right under that. So are you taking a chance? Uh, this literally to me feels like you are taking a chance or you're willing to take a chance. Um, and then you have the Ten of Wands under the Ten of Coins. So two tens. So that's that's actually good because you. It's like. It's like. You're finally able to set down your your. Burdens. Okay, you're carrying some burdens. You're carrying some some weight on your shoulders, but. It's all coming to an end okay so you're not going to feel so much burdened in the near future because you have the empress and the empress is ruled by venus and it's all about luxury and and it's also pregnancy <laughs> abundance uh, all things beautiful a uh, lot of bountiful blessings and then you have the tower card again so I'm going to cut to the chase and tell you what I feel intuitively as far as this reading is concerned. So this could be somebody trying to get pregnant. Uh, you got pregnant. You had some medical issues that needed to be clarified because you didn't know whether you want this is going to be a viable pregnancy or not. Um, and unfortunately you have heard that it is not a viable pregnancy. I'm sorry guys. Okay. Don't send me hate messages and you know, those, those nasty messages. I am just a messenger here. So don't shoot me. I will call it the way I see it. And I read intuitively. Okay. This is all subject to the messages. My guides give me, there are other tarot readers who read these cards completely different to each his or her own okay to me these are the messages i'm getting and i'm going to say it that's my job okay i know sugarcoating stuff so i have a feeling this reading for and this may not apply to every one of you obviously like i say time and time and time and again uh, not every reading is going to resonate with every person every single time so this may be to may be applicable only to a few of you all um, because you have two tower cards okay you have two tens and you have venus um and you have the lovers card so yeah you thought you'd take a chance and you know for a brief period of time you were left out in the cold because you didn't know what was going on you didn't know what to make of it you felt a little isolated you were like okay i have choices i have a lot of choices i have too many choices i don't know which one to pick uh, or i have to sit and uh, reevaluate my choices and make a decision and then you decided to to uh, take a chance right um, so you guys I would say to me this feels like it's a question of is this pregnancy going to be viable or not okay now if it is if this correlates to a business type of a situation for you then it's a question of is this uh, business partnership going to be viable or not so whatever decision you make give it some thought and I would say pay attention to um, to where venus is in your chart okay um that's what i say and as far as the tower is concerned you guys i i cannot reiterate uh this enough it's 
only if something is on shaky foundation will it tumble down. If it is built on a strong foundation from the very beginning, then there's no chance and no need for it to come crumbling down. So maybe this was not meant to be anyway in the first place. That's the way I look at it, okay? Um, so... I also, for some reason, got this message. It says bone marrow. This is a really weird one. It's way out there, so I don't know. Bone marrow. Does that make any sense to any of you all? Is that a bone marrow transplant type of situation? That you thought you had a good match and you found out you don't? I'm going to pull a whole bunch of these and we read them together, okay? Oh, I hate when these cards slip and slide like that. So after the tower card, you got Cordelia, go outside. So whatever this thing that, that has broken down, that has disintegrated, please don't shut yourself up uh, and, and kind of, you know, feel, feel um, isolated and don't isolate yourself, okay? Because this says you, ha <laughs> I'm worried that you will be because the card says you have been indoors too long, go outside and get some fresh air. So don't isolate yourself, okay? Please don't do that because remember there are people around you who care for you and who love you and by you isolating yourself, it could hurt them. So come out in the open and, and the healing process could, could uh, uh, hasten up as well for you. Then you have the angel of alchemy and it says miracle. So at the end of it all, maybe there is going to be a miracle for you guys and how cool is that? Um, and then you have this card, it says seal. So it says hard work and inspiration are the foundation of true creativity. Guys, remember I said this is, I felt like this was a pregnancy that is not going to be viable. And then I felt, I am not felt, I got this thing, words in my head that said bone marrow transplant. So I feel if that is the case, then expect a miracle around the new moon because you might get a match. Okay, or it might be a match. So that's what I say. I'm going to get one more from this. These are some things that I made on my own. I saw these images and it kind of just spoke to me. And I, the moment I saw them, I had specific messages that came to me. The way I saw these cards or how I interpreted these things. And then I wrote them down. Randomly picking. This is beautiful. So I wrote the crown, you are the chosen woman or man and you are worthy of wearing this crown, but beware the responsibility that comes with this crown, with, with, wearing, with this, wearing this crown. So miracles do happen. So you may be the chosen one. Maybe this thing is, is a perfect match for you, this bone marrow situation, if that's what it is. Um, and uh, you are the chosen one, so <laughs> perfect. I don't know what else to say. Look how beautiful the crown is. Right? Everything happens for a reason, you guys. Just know that, okay? Towers crumbling down is not a bad thing. You know, like I said, all old structures have to come down before you can put up a new structure. So that is, in a way, nature's way and the universe's way of, of removing all um, shaky structures. So, um, and again, don't seclude yourself. Uh, please, please don't do that. You know, don't isolate yourself. Come out and, and mix with your family members and, um, you know, that support will assist you and go a long way in the healing process. Okay, thanks Libras and I will see you next month. Bye.